Hello, I'm AppyX, Toy Cat, and about a week ago, Crocs decided to start a Minecraft server. Yes, for real, those Crocs. And on that server, they have a build competition where you have to build the most colourful creation and you could win a great prize. That great prize being an Xbox Series X or some Crocs. Actually, pretty decent prizes, right? And so, interestingly enough, they got in touch with me, and because I'm a professional Minecraft world judger, they wanted me to judge some of these very Minecraft builds, and so today we're doing precisely that. I'm going to be judging this competition and it's gonna be some fun but first there's parkour I hear so uh, this is a uh, United States president looking fella right here but this is the parkour I guess that we have to do to do win some prizes Wow I'm getting sponsored for the video and I'm getting prizes by the way this video is sponsored by Crocs um, the server URL is play.crocsworld.gg it's open for another three days, uh, and also bear in mind that this server has some terms and conditions that are linked down below because competition law is a lot of fun. Anyway, so we're going to play with the parkour course, and then we're going to check out the server because you know what? I love Minecraft servers. I love looking at builds. I love judging people's things, and you know, I intend to do that uh, multiple times this month, it seems. Uh, however, seeing someone fail a parkour jump and then being able to just swoop in and do it yourself, man, that's glorious. Even when the the server conspires against you. So, jump on the slime block, bounce to reach the next block. Can't tell me how to live my life. Do you even need to do that? Can't we just, you know, let's do it for fun anyway, though. So let's bounce. There we go. Look at this. I'm gonna get me some prizes soon. It's gonna be great. So I love the little notification from the server. You can build whatever you like. Just remember to make it colorful. <laughs> uh, I guess the other, oh, yeah, that, darn, I failed. I can't do parkour. But what I can do is judge people's builds mercilessly. So let's click on the NPC. Maybe. And as you can see, this is my plot. It's owned by me, this this fella right here with the, the Minecon 2015 cake and, uh, cape and the, and the really questionable flat skin because we're playing Java. And on Java, we can see builds like this. Plot 127, Bart in the back whip. You know what? This is a really nice build, in my opinion. It's using some new blocks along, you know, like it's got some copper in there on the side. It's got this sand. This is a really nice start to what could be like a Colosseum or like, you know, like a really grand, uh, not house, but like, you know, feature of a world. However, is it colorful? You know, does it represent the Crocs brand? I would say no, and I'm, I'm the Crocs brand ambassador now. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say that, but you know, what? I, uh, <laughs> I am enjoying looking at builds, and I'm going to judge them based on their colorfulness, because this, for instance, I would say this is colorful, even though black is arguably not a color. I mean, is it is it a color or absence of color? You tell me, internet. But, um, the, uh, the you know, although black is arguably not quite there, you can see how the inside is this beautiful, like, purple with some blue from copper. I think that's copper. Yeah, blue from copper with a different blue from prismarine, with a different blue from the from the, uh, the concrete powder, or concrete itself, it really combines quite well to make this interesting contrast of what is effectively one color. This is a great job of making, you know, so they heard, I want you know, they, they heard that they'd get a prize if they made a colorful build, and they're like, you know what, I'm gonna lawyer you on this one. If you have lots of types of the same color, is that colorful? Maybe it is, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure. Speaking of things I'm not sure about, this seems to be an ostrich, maybe? I, uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this looks kind of like a landmine on top of the head of, like, you know what? There's, there's lots of ways you can interpret this. Not all of them are favorable. This, okay, here we go. Someone has now taken the colorful build, uh, you know, like, uh, brief, and they've actually decided to run with it. I love looking at this because you can see there actually is some real color. I worry it's actually like an Among Us thing, but I'm seeing, like, you know, again, this is like a, a pink reservoir, like, overflowing onto the, the blue landscape. I love this. This is, honestly, this is to me why Minecraft has so many colors of blocks. Like having these concrete powders and having these concretes and having, what does the sign say actually? Uh, Paquando server DE subs. You know what? The, having having this exist with uh, free to Excella on Twitch. Cara, uh, you know what? I think that this is, this is a Spanish, uh, Twitch streamers <laughs> build right here, but I love this like little reservoir. It's like a volcano almost um, Obviously, I can't destroy other people's stuff, but you know what I can do. I can look at this little desert thing question mark But you know what I can look at I can look at this I love all of the copyright infringement being committed right here. You've got a squirtle You've got Iron Man. You've got a Minecraft painting 
but they made it enlarge. I don't know why. Every now and then I'm just really inspired to make something and just making giant Minecraft paintings. I love the concept so much. I, I already collected all of the Minecraft paintings by themselves, right? Maybe I should make them giant. Maybe I should make a giant room somewhere. Oh, I totally should do that, shouldn't I? Speaking of things I should totally do, criticize this Iron Man. Like, they did such a good job here. Then they're like, you know, what if Iron Man but small, am I right? And then we've got this, and then we've got a giant Xbox logo. I love it. I, I honestly, I this, this is why it's so cool to look at other people's builds. Most, most people's stuff sucks, right? But every now and then you find something like this canvas with this, I think also a Minecraft painting on, that just makes you go, that's cool. Is this colorful? No. Can this win the competition? No, because it's lots of lots of problems as to why it shouldn't. But what might be able to win the competition is looking at something more like this. As you can see, it is a... <laughs> this isn't copyright infringement. I guess it's like trademarks, right? Mumbo potato, sub to mumbo. I mean, I... Although we could... Uh... <laughs> you know, this is why the Minecraft... You know, when people love a YouTuber, they make it very colorful. He made the grass more colorful, so I like it for that. This is a great example of a colorful little world. Maybe not colorful enough though, am I right? I mean, is it even colorful if you don't have a rainbow? I'm kind of annoyed by the way they've done these rain like rainbow beacons. I know it's just every color, or almost every color, but like, you could have done so much better. You could have made some really beautiful things here. You messed up. Also, the rest of this is very confusing. There's like, there's a, <laughs> there's a target block on a chain above a, Block of sand, which is above a, a fire. Why, why, why is any of this true? I don't know. I think this, though, actually is colorful. I think it's dumb, but it's like abstract art. But then this is like, just, this isn't even abstract. This just doesn't make sense. It's funny because you'll see abstract things that don't make sense. And then you'll see things like this and you're like, oh, these are both entered into the same competition. I mean, it goes without saying that when you put this much effort in, as indeed the viewpoint, that must be the name of the person who made this, right? Viewer. Um, uh, if, if, if we look up here, you can see they've got, this garden already is really beautiful. I love when people make custom trees from, what is this, mushroom blocks and green wood. Like, it looks really cool and this little place is wonderful already. But then it's got an orange layer to the house, which is also multicolored with stained glass. Then we've got this kind of nevery layer. It's not actually the never, but it looks great. Then we've got this red, also nevery layer. Then there's this green mossy layer. Then there's this wooden layer that looks like a real house. I love this design. Also, <laughs> they were designed. The, the 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 way you win this is you make the most uh, colorful build. And so they they <laughs> this is a colorful build. Tell me it is it is not internet, and I will tell you you're lying. <laughs> Likewise, there is no way to say that this is not a colorful build. It literally makes a rainbow spiral around you. I I really like it. Would be a real pain to place. I was going to say in survival, but even in creative. Think about the pain they had to go through to create this. I think this is a great little build. I think though the plot itself, you know, if we're trying to judge all of it together, this is not necessarily colorful in the same way. This is just someone making a cool house and you know, cool houses need to exist too. But like, do they need to exist like this? Maybe some would argue not. And uh, then we've just got a tree outside, a very angry tree, it looks like. Actually, that's a sassy tree with its hand on its hip. Like, nah, -uh, you ain't telling me that I'm a tree that's sassy. So this plot right here is one that really gets to me though, because look at this. This is blue, red, green, yellow, uh, around a center. I think that that's kind of boring just to use four colors. It almost looks like the Windows logo if we rotate this right. Oh, it can't be the Windows logo no matter how you rotate it, how sad. But like, honestly, just these four colors by using a combination of different blocks, it looks so nice. It's just the primary colors plus green. And then you can see they've done the same with this house. Like by just using basic colors, I, I think this is a, an interesting thing about how color works. Obviously it's maybe not how you could make an argument that Crocs tie dye works or how the point of colorful is meant to be interpreted. Cause Pat, you know, like having deep pastel colors is really nice to some people, but what's arguably better is having a really interesting mishmash. Like this, for instance, this is using so many color blocks together and it's arguably better off for it, right? It's not as uh, simplistic to look at, but the way it combines things together, it sure is beautiful. Oh, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Man, that's, that's too complex. I wanna look at simpler things again. Can I show you one of my favorite builds on the entire server? So they took their plot 
and they decided we're just gonna dig a two by two hole in the center. Are they? Is this a, a you know some? Is this is this a social experiment? Is this a a grand point modern art about how art leaves a hole inside of us? And really, we don't need colors to fill that hole. We need we need stone and bedrock and we need grass. Or maybe it's a grand point like this one about the nothingness of existence. I mean, is there anything here? There is not anything here. Just like. Ooh, that's too much too. Man, it's it's really interesting to see like the quality differential. Like if you just tell people build something colorful, you get such a wide variety of results. Like this person was like, I'm gonna build my skin surrounded by beacons and with a beautiful colorful thing on the ground. And you know, it's a, it's a nice version of your skin, I'm sure. Whereas this person is like colorful. That means rainbows, right? And you're not proud of you. Keep on, keep on supporting your causes uh, and indeed, look at this rainbow, it's nice. Um, this person also took it to mean... I feel like this person stole that other person's idea, honestly. Um, whereas this person takes colorful to mean... <laughs> I think it's unfinished. But they took colorful to mean build a house in the middle of nowhere. While at the same time, you can see stuff like this. Look at the beauty of the... Oh man, you can spin. This is my... my, this, my at least on my screen, this is hurting to look at. If this is hurting to look at for you too, then it's done its job effectively. I wanna build this now. I wanna build precisely this in my Minecraft world. Ultimately, one of the reasons I enjoy doing these videos where I look at people's builds, even when they're sometimes questionable, and even when the theme is as basic as just be colorful, um, the reason I enjoy looking around at these so much is because you can really get a, you know, like I, I think colors do something to our brains like intrinsically, right? We, we look at them and we just see you know, like, I, I think it's, like, evolutionary wired in that, like, we, we see it and we think, like, man, that's some tasty fruit over there. We, we, we should really eat those berries. But, you know, you can't eat berries when you're playing Minecraft. Instead, all you can do is enjoy l loading up on the computer Mojang. I guess this is Minecraft on a widescreen uh, monitor right here. Look at this keyboard. But uh, I feel like when, you know, like, seeing that creativity impulse come from colors is really nice. There's just something that colors do, at least to me, I won't, I won't speak for all of you, that I really, really enjoy. And whether that's small builds that are inconsequential, like this shark with its teeth, how do they keep the concrete powder floating in the air? Is the concrete, huh, the concrete powder's up here as well. And there's no string below it, it's just, it just is floating. If I break a block, will it come down? No, it won't. How sad. But um, yeah, ultimately, looking at this makes you realize why that's so fun. Uh, but you know what else is so fun? Some people use this challenge as an opportunity to express creativity, and they do a great job with it. However, some people use it as an opportunity to express ideas about things they think should be in Minecraft. Like, what's the deal with this? Why can't we make copper beacons, Mojang? I think they'd look really cool. I think on a game balance level, maybe they're not ideal. But don't you want this? Don't you want this? This guy does. He dedicates his whole plot to it. Even though This is a build competition, sir. I don't know what you're doing. We are a shoe company. We can't, we can't fix your, your problems with beacons, but what we can do is apparently uh, make flags and um, place down... You're not, this, you're not even trying to make a beacon at this point, are you? Ooh, this is fascinating. They made a little secret. I want to get through here. Some people are expressing ideas, but not for the future of Minecraft, but for the future of their ideal world. And so here is a lovely lady sitting at a desk with Garfield. Definitely Garfield. Definitely not just an orange cat. Uh, sat behind her. Is this not the ideal uh, world? If it's not, how about this one right here? This might be peak. <laughs> they logged on, they punched two blocks, and they're like, you know what? I might, I might win the competition based on that. Always wanted an Xbox Series X I have. And apparently that's just enough for them. Like this person who was thinking to themselves, you know what? If I make a flag of Texas out of uh, wool blocks and then I make three happy faces, maybe they'll be happy with me. Because you know what? Crocs the brand are totally gonna judge this based on how patriotic I am for Texas. Wait, I just realized, so on screen right now is the flag of Texas. This is actually the flag of Chile. So I guess there's a large Spanish-speaking community. I mean, I should have guessed they were Spanish-speaking by the fact that they were happy. This is, this is truly only accomplishable in place, in, in long countries like Chile, right? Speaking of things that are accomplishable, building a house. It's not a very colorful house, but they figured, you know, there's a build competition. 
Maybe I can impress them so much, they won't even care that it's not colorful. I don't think they've impressed me, though. Okay, this has to be a deliberate meme, right? There's there's four trees, uh, one of each type of wood, and then they made this house with two doors. I mean, if this isn't a meme, then I feel very, very mean for ripping on it. But it, it definitely is. There's there's no way that it's not. I wonder if we can look at... There's, there's so many players online. I wonder if we can find them somehow. Oh, who lives in copyright infringement under the sea? This person's build. It's not even very colorful. I think you can see. Um, yeah, this is... This is interesting. You know what? I... I like when you give people creativity, and some people fail at the concept of creativity. I really do enjoy that. Holy jeez, did this person go above and beyond? Tech rat. <laughs> oh look, and this is... Man, is... Okay, this... Again, I, I can't give them points for color. Actually, no, I can give them tons of points for color. But this shrine to a goat... This is, this is the sort of thing someone would otherwise build in their own little world, and then be like, ah, that's something, and leave it forever. I love that it's forever immortalized in the exact same, or not forever, the server goes down in three days, in the exact same format as these uh, warped planks. I I think it's so interesting. You gave both of these guys the same tools and somehow we got this and we got this. I mean, we also got this, which is somewhere in between. And we also got that, which I think I've been here before, actually. Oh, it's all coming together now, huh? So yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of builds on this server. You can check them out for yourself if you'd like, and you can be judgmental all you like. Uh, do you like this bouncy castle? I like this bouncy castle. Do you like this this little castle that's 2D on a background? I am vaguely okay with it. Um, and so yeah, in, in general, this has been a really interesting time. And you know what we have to do before we go? Uh, we have to say uh, thank you for watching. I'm just kidding. What we have to do is some parkour. Okay, we have to go to the second parkour. Let's do it. Plot designed by... These plots aren't the winners. They are just works in progress builds we thought were pretty cool. Man, see? Look at... You know, why have I been looking at the at the, the, the regular builds when stuff like... Look at that. How can anyone compete with that as a build when trying to get the colorful... You know, why even try? I don't think I should say that. You know, keep trying for the next three days while the contest is open. You just, you're just never going to have something this good. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's official. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's do this parkour. And let's get the QR code that allows us to be big winners. But no, yeah, it's been really interesting, um, uh, as you, as you can tell, being, doing, doing the, uh, occasional sponsored video. It's something I don't actually do very often on the channel. And I wanted to clarify, uh, the reasoning behind doing so few of them is obviously, uh, you know, it, 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 it to me is important to only do sponsorships that actually can give you something as a viewer, that I, you actually probably might want. And me looking around and judging some Java people's builds is something people have been asking for forever. Except this actually has, you know, some prizes behind it. The Xbox, the Crocs, etc. Um, it even has some Crocs in it for me, which is really cool. And you know what? <laughs> Can you imagine if I was being paid exclusively in Crocs? But um, yeah, it's really interesting that, um, you know, it, it, it's really fun to do the occasional one of these. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that you don't uh, I, I, I don't know, like, uh, it's, it's definitely one of those things as a YouTuber where, like, some people go all the way in on it and some people don't touch it at all. I feel like there's probably a healthy balance of, like, you know, some, sometimes it's good to take money from outside companies. Can I even include this in the video? I don't know until you're seeing this. But all I know for now is that I enjoyed this video. I'm bad at parkour. And if you enjoyed it too, let me know. And uh, if you didn't, let me know that as well. But mostly, just tell me your favorite build from the video. And uh, we'll see if it wins when the competition closes in three days. But yeah, for real, you know, I, I need to just go back and look at that. This is this is like astounding to me. When you when you see this, like those two builds, like they're, they're a bit too tall for my liking. This is like perfect. This This should be the winner. I've seen nothing that matches this. And speaking of things, I've seen nothing that match you. I've never seen anyone that matches how not subscribed you are to the channel. So hit subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you all tomorrow for Q&A Saturday. Goodbye.